Okay, so I'm at the car. Oh, dear me, it's lunchtime now. I am bloody knackered. I've got a whole bag full of things. I started off today with 250 quid. Um, I've probably spent nearly 200, probably 180. Ton of stuff. I've just bought this entire huge bag. I mean, it's probably five kilos of costume jewellery for uh, 40 quid. It's from a charity. There's all sorts in there. So far, I've pulled out silver, a little bit of gold, some nice bits and bobs. This is all silver. There's some rolled gold there. This is silver. A little, little bit of silver there as well. So, yeah, we'll see. So, um, wish me luck with part two and I'll get back with my it. Okay, so it's confession time. Uh, there was the second day of the antiques fair and I went back. I couldn't say no to these rummage bags. I went and bought two more for forty pounds each. These are the bags. Um, I've just ripped them open slightly. They weigh uh, three and a half kilos each. So I've got ten uh, ten kilos of costume jewellery for a hundred and twenty quid. So uh, this is you know one pound twenty kilos, pretty good. Uh, hey there, it's the English picker here with part two of my. Awesome picking finds, antique fair bonanza. Um, onto the jewellery. Uh, basically, the majority of the money, uh, probably a third was the coins, and then the other two thirds was spent on jewellery. The vast chunk was spent on 11 kilos of costume jewellery, which I bought uh, for £120. Um, they came from an um, like a an antiques dealer, and he said, "Oh, they haven't been sorted, you know. Da, 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 there's there is silver in there, and I could see in the bags. There's three bags uh, that there was the odd bit of silver in there. I'll show you the leftovers. Uh, we've got some resaleable bits in here. We've got some car boot bits in there. That's still unsorted, and then in here." There is tons. I mean, that bag is barely liftable. It's, you know, there's a good eight kilos there of costume jewellery. So I'll probably put that into lots and put it on eBay. And I should get close to my initial investment back because uh, people seem to like the costume jewellery lots. Um, but in there, there was some scrap silver. There's this whole bag here. This is all pure scrap silver. So in just the rogue earrings, there was 81 grams of scrap silver, so that's already 40-odd quid. There was some bit, uh, bits of interesting costume jewellery, uh, some nice rolled gold cameo Victorian earrings, a little cigarette extender thing, some amber, nice piece of amber there, a piece of coral with a pinchback backing, piece of jade, some pearls up there. Um, there's quite a large quantity of gold filled and, and heavy gold plate stuff, so might try and scrap that as well. Got this, which had me going for a while. I thought it was a sovereign ring, but it's actually uh, a gold plated. You can see it's, it's a grey there. Gold plated one uh, with a fake, like a fake coin in there. Pretty cool. Uh, some shell stuff these are cool they're made out of aluminium and they are trench rings so uh, you know I'll put those together second world war cute little elephant probably sadly made out of ivory yeah so so there are were some nice bits and there's also like sets like this this is a solid silver amethyst set complete very nice, but the vast majority of it was this whole swathe of earrings here. I'll just give you a quick scan over all of these uh, solid silver, obviously with the exception of the stones. So you've got a, a whole heap of ones here. You know, just um, a whole mishmash, some really nice ones like these amber ones here. Some more cameo ones there. I bought those ones separately for 50p, but all the rest came from the charity bags. 
don't know how many pairs there. Then uh, there was a couple of pieces of uh, a couple of brooches. This is a nice brooch. That one's marked 925. And there was a ring in there marked sterling. And then there's this little child signet ring here. Quite cute. Then these are all rogue pendants. There's all sorts of things. This is cool. It's glass, it's chipped, and it's marked. Let's see if we can get it. La Leak. If it wasn't so chipped up, it'd be worth about 30 quid. But with the chips, not too sure. Got some road earrings that'll turn into pendants and whatnot. So, so cool. from everything from there that way came out the charity bags. Uh, the ones that didn't come out the charity bags, I bought this one for a pound. I paid two pounds for this, and I paid five pounds for this. This on itself weighs over an ounce. It's Indian silver, um, so it's probably a lower grade silver, but still for a fiver, that's pretty good. It's from the person I got the trade dollar from. This is a nice. Decent bracelet, all marked up. All of these are marked except for the te um, the Indian one, so pretty good. But everything this way, this all came out of charity bags. This lovely turquoise one, which is marked ninety five on the back of every link, uh, really nice. Then you've got these thick spiral barley twist chains. We've got some thicker snake chains. I have no chance to weigh all this yet, so I have no idea. Some shell. Uh, Jewish symbolism, got turquoise, got some maybe glass amethyst, not too sure. Um, Macintosh stuff, uh, some nice beads, but the topping silver, these are all silver. This is like a almost looks like a coin, it's proof light, but it's marked silver. Got this with some little stones in, some more there. And then all these ones here are just plain chains. They were such a pain to untangle. It took me forever. And then these two end ones are gold on silver. They're gold coloured in the Mark 925. So I'm assuming they're gold on silver. That's what's happened all in the past. These are strange. I've taken off the hoops at the top. They're gold in colour. And if anybody knows what this hallmark is, please let me know. Um, it looks like an English silver hallmark, but the lion on the left there is on its hind legs. So there's a date letter, there's a lion, and then there's another mark. So could it be gold on silver? Could it be gold on Britannia silver? Not too sure. If anybody knows, drop me a comment. So there was some gold in the charity bags, so I'll come back to that in a bit. But I did buy some additional pieces while I was wandering around the fair and whatnot. Um, I got all these rings here for two pounds each. We've got a little snake one. They were dead tarnished from different vendors. They didn't know they were silver. They're not marked, except uh, this one here. Uh, this is heavy. This weighs um, three quarters of an ounce on its own, and I got that for a pound. These two were two pounds. That was a pound. This was a pound. It's marked silver. Looks kind of Art Deco. That's heavy as well. This was a pound. So yeah, some cool rings there which is nice. Um, then I bought this necklace. I probably paid too much. It's gold. The woman knew it was gold. She got uh, 12 quid on it. I said we'll just take a tenner. It weighs a gram, exactly. But on the clasp, I could see it says 14 carat. So, um, sorry, it weighs 0 0.8 of a gram, so almost a gram. Uh, so, it's around about its scrap, but I might try and put that in the antique centre, see how it goes. This one actually came from a thrift store. It was marked up at silver, seven ninety nine, and it's actually nine carat white gold. Uh, you can just tell from the thinness of the chain they wouldn't make silver chain that thin, really. And it's just too shiny. So I paid them seven ninety nine. It weighs one and a half grams, so it's well below its scrap price, which is really cool. So on to the good stuff now. Some of this came out of the um, charity bag. Some of it I picked up. Um, I'll put a little clip in of pieces of costume jewellery that had uh, this piece of gold wrapped around it. Other little bits of gold that I rummaged, picked out. Um, got some sets. Got a set of like 1970s style um, nine carat earrings. 
they came from charity. I paid 10 quid for these. They're, they're garnet and nine carat. Uh, sorry, I paid eight pounds for those. They were asking 10. They're, I should be able to get 15 or 20 out of those. These, I'll probably scrap them because it's missing a stone. Nine carat again. Set here, they're, they're nine carat, marked on the studs and the butterflies. This was a set out of the charity bag. Those are out of the charity bag as well. These were as well. Nice matching pair. These are also like a black pearl with a little diamond. Mark 9 carat. These are nearly missed. These went actually back in the costume bag. But they are marked 375 on the studs. They're white gold. 9 carat white gold. So nearly missed those ones. Um, then up the top here we've got ones that... Um, I've got to get checked out because they um, they react they don't react to the nine carat but they do react to the other one so I think the fourteen carat is like a homemade job. There's a a little um, earring bit there. This one actually does say five eight five so it that backing is uh, fourteen carat and that leaf uh, I think is fourteen carat. If it is, I'll probably make a pendant out of it and put it on the other necklace to make it more saleable piece. Then this is strange. It looks silver in colour, um, and it's got like this greeny stone on the front, but it is quite shiny. But then on the back, I don't know if you'll be able to make it out. It's really small, but just at the top there, it says nine CT, so nine carat. Um, I haven't had a chance to test it yet. I don't know if it's like nine carat plated or uh, who knows. I don't know. Anyway, uh, these all came out of the charity bag. Just a little bit of gold at the top. Nice bit of gold on that. That's turned out to be gold. This is quite a hef hefty gold. That weighs nearly a gram on its own. That's gold. That's gold with a stone. That didn't come out of the charity bag. These two I picked out of some costume jewellery. Always look for backings as well on other pieces of jewellery. That came off another piece. This came a charity bag. There's another piece. This. I'm gutted that the other one wasn't in the charity bag. Because it would have made a really lovely lovely set. Let me see if we can get a close up of this. Sorry about the shakiness guys. Check that out. I mean that would have made a lovely set. But he got other charity bags there. And um they they it's obviously ended up somewhere else. So also out of the rummage bag came this, just a little bit of gold on there, similar to that one, but not the same. Then this is awesome. This came out of the costume jewellery bag. Let's see if we can focus on it. I haven't tested the stone yet, but it's white gold and yellow gold with um a full set of hallmarks. So he's obviously not gone through them there with like little love hearts. I mean that's just Really awesome. Got some bits of scrap here marked on the clasp. This is a chain here, this weighs 1.5 grams. So, yeah, nice chunk of gold, which is cool. Okay, so this isn't gold, it's gold on silver, but it's still a lovely piece. It's really nice, quite a large size, but it's um, just a nice setting on it. No missing stones, amethyst in the middle. Uh, I paid five pounds for it. Uh, should be able to get 10 to 15 just because it is such a lovely setting. Gold on silver doesn't typically do that well, but you know, pretty good. Um, this piece I picked out of a, a scrap, a gold scrap metal merchant's um, reject pile, and I had some coins and uh, one of these one gram bars over here. And he bloody noticed this, and he got he's got one of these X-ray gun things, and scanned it, and went, oh, you got lucky there. You found a bit of nine carat, and he let me off. I paid six quid for it. It weighs point uh, six of a gram, so he's done me a, a bit of a deal on it. So you know, I'll probably just scrap it and make the probably a couple of quid off that. So that's pretty cool. Then this one, this is an awesome deal. I saw this in a dealer's cabinet, a high-end dealer's cabinet. Uh, and she went, oh, that piece, got, it's gold on silver, that is, and it's just cubic zirconium. I went, oh, it's all right to have a look at it. She goes, yeah, I've, I've got 15 quid on it because it's quite a nice modern piece. So I looked inside and the hallmarks were filled up um, full of gunk. So I couldn't, I couldn't quite see what it said. So I thought, oh, you know, 
that really doesn't look like gold on silver to me. Um, and then I could see on the inside there it says DIA for diamond. I thought there's no way they put diamonds in gold on silver. So I bought it. Um, I got it for 15 quid. She wouldn't budge on 15, which is annoying. Which, if it was gold on silver, would have been pretty much full whack. It weighs 2.4, 2.3, 2.4 grams. And when I cleaned it in my uh, ultrasonic cleaner, I could see the when I got home, I could see the hallmark 375. So it's turned out to be a nine carat gold ring with di with three diamonds from a high end uh, antiques dealer for 15 quid so I mean that would scrap at about 30 quid so you know even if I scrapped it I've doubled my money but I'm gonna try and retail it as a piece okay so the there's there's two more sets of uh, bits of gold here now this set here there was a woman who she was the woman who I, I got this coin from and some other bits and bobs and she got this huge table of rummage stuff and um but she obviously hadn't sorted it and whatnot, so I went through it. I was there for bloody ages, going through, pulling out bits, and whatnot, and I had a huge pile of stuff. And I said, "Look, how much are these?" And she looked through it. She looked at these and she went, "Ah, oh, that one bent out of shape. I mean, that's gold on silver. That one's nine carat." And she couldn't read that one, so she said, "That's probably gold on silver as well." I tell you what, you can have all three for twenty-five quid. So I went, um, okay. And then she did me a good deal on the other thing. So I thought, ah, it's worth a chance in my arm because I can repair this one. If this is nine carats, it's heavy. She didn't weigh it. Um, you know, there only needs to be two grams of gold there to make my money. And, you know, that's a nice stone. So, And these were all really filthy as well. I mean, they weren't as nice as these are. Uh, so I got back. And it turns out that all three are nine carat gold. Um, once cleaned up, you can make out the hallmarks. I think this is Topaz, uh, massive ring size, huge. Don't know if I'll be able to repair it though, because that is super, super thin. So not too sure. Uh, this one's missing a stone, amethyst, you know, and then this one's like a smoky quartz. Again, nine carat gold. I can't believe it. I'm getting so lucky with the. People thinking stuff's gold on silver. Now, obviously, you've got the stones to take into account. But even if you halve the weight, that's 13.4 grams. So even if you halve the weight and there's 7 grams of gold there, that is a shed load of gold for 25 quid. So, not sure. Not sure whether to repair it. I mean, I think I'm going to try and get a stone for this one because that's a nice piece. I might scrap the smoky quartz. And then I'd like to repair that, but it is so thin. So, so thin, because that stone is stunning. So, yeah, awesome deal. And these last two here really are a case of um, just just chatting to people, really. Um, there was a seller at the car boot who uh, I've seen a few times and sort of semi-say hello to. Her name's Valerie. And she's always got jewellery and I have a poke about and... I have a little look through and pull out the odd silver pair of earrings, the kind of Indian style stuff, much like this. And I was chatting to her a few weeks ago, and she was saying um, how uh, you know how she does like to bring some silver bits, but she doesn't bring too much to the car boot because she's had stuff stolen before. Uh, and I was like, oh god, that's such a shame. You know, it's it just shows the desperation of of some people to to do such things, and. But then that got me thinking, and I was talking away and whatnot. And uh, then I said, "So, does it? Does that mean you got some more bits at home?" She went, "Oh yeah, you know, I've got, I've got some more bits of silver, and I've got a few bits of gold as well." And I said, "Oh, okay." And she was talking about how she's been meaning to take it to the cash for gold place, um, but she thought, "Well, these people are a bit slimy, and she she didn't trust them." And I, I said to her, I said, don't take it there, you know, they're, they're going to have you over a barrel, they're, you know, they're going to lowball you with low prices. Um, so I said to her, I said, if you are wanting to sell any gold, um, I'll, I'll, I do buy gold, but I, I buy it as a piece, not to scrap it. So if you've got some nice pieces, I guarantee I'll beat any quote on the high street. 
gave them my card, thought nothing of it. And a couple of weeks later, I get a phone call uh, saying, oh, hi, it's Val, I found those pieces of gold that um, that you were interested in. Did you want to come over and have a look? And I, I, I couldn't get in my car quick enough, and I drove over there. And uh, when I got there, she pulled out this. And it's a, it's a really nice men's wedding band. She didn't say who it belonged to or what not or anything like that. Slightly knocked out of shape. And I got my scales with me and it, it is Mark 375. It's a nice piece though and I know I can fix it. And it weighs 2.6 grams. So I said, look, this is what it'll scrap for. I'll give you this. And I offered her £30, which is full whack. It is full whack. But I know that I can squeeze an extra tenner out of it. Because I thought, you know... I'm going to be honest with this person. I do buy a lot from her, so maybe I can get better deals in the future. So, um, so I gave her the money. I was really happy, and I came back. And I thought nothing of it. And then I went to the car boot last weekend, and I bumped into Val again. She went, oh, I'm glad you come along. I found another gold ring. And she gave me this little box with a thing in it, and she goes, it's a present for you. And she refused to take any money for this. She said, because I've been so fair with her, that she gave me this for free. It's a probably 1970s nine carat gold ring. Check out the way of this. Five grams. So five grams of nine carat, that's about 60 odd quid. And I said to her, Val, I can't take this. You know, I mean, I hadn't weighed at that point, but I just said, I can't. And she goes, no, you've been really fair with me. It's my gift to you. It's... If you can use it, uh, if you can put it somewhere where it's better use, it's it's no good for me. All it has is bad memories. So a bit of picking karma, really. By doing the right thing, I've ended up profiting. Don't get me wrong, it still makes me feel slightly guilty about, about doing it because she's effectively given me 60 quid for free. Um, I did try and insist on giving her at least some money, but she wasn't having any of it. Um, so hopefully I'll see you this weekend and maybe buy some more stuff and it might make me feel a little bit better. But let me know your thoughts about the picking karma uh, because I do believe you've got to be fair with people. Uh, and this one's going in my antiques cabinet. I think it won't be too long before I sell it once I've fixed it up. So yeah. So there you go guys. There's the monster picking finds from all the uh, pretty much most most of the later part of August and the mass uh, the massive antiques fair that I went to with the 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 um, mixed bag of costume jewelry. We... So thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and check me out on Facebook.